Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that A part, write the quadrants in which the following pair lie. First sub part is the ordered pair minus 2, 5. Second sub part, the ordered pair minus 5, minus 5. And the third sub part is the ordered pair 4, minus 3. And in the B part, we have to study the graph. That is, we have to study the following graph in which we have to find out the ordered pairs for the different points given in this graph. That is, for the points P, Q, R, S, T and U. Now, before starting the solution of this question, we should know some results. And the first result is, in the coordinate plane, we have four quadrants. And here, x-axis and y-axis intersect each other at the point O, which is the origin. And this is the quadrant 1 in which both x and y coordinates are positive and in the second quadrant the x coordinate is negative whereas the y coordinate is positive in the third quadrant the x and y coordinates are negative, that is both the x, y coordinates are negative and in the fourth quadrant x coordinate is positive and y coordinate is negative. Now we can see it graphically also. Now here this is the first quadrant Now here, on the right side of origin, that is on the x-axis, we will have the positive integers like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. And above the origin, on the y-axis, Again we will have the positive integers as in the first quadrant both x and y coordinates are positive. Now in the second quadrant the x coordinate is negative and here you can see that the y coordinates are positive. So on the left of origin on the x-axis, we will write the negative integers that is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 and so on. So here, in the second quadrant, the x-coordinate is negative whereas the y-coordinate is positive. Now, this is the third quadrant and in the third quadrant, the x and y both are negative, that is the x and y coordinates both are negative. So here, below the origin on the y axis, we will have the negative integers. So here, you can see that both the x and y coordinates in the third quadrant are negative. And finally, in the fourth quadrant, the x coordinate is positive, whereas the y coordinate is negative. And here, we will place the integers on the x axis and y axis at equal distances, just like we place them on the number line. And the second result is, 
if any point lies on the x axis then its y coordinate is zero and if any point lies on the y axis then its x coordinate is zero now these results will work out as a key idea for solving out the given question and now we will start with the solution in the a part we have to write the quadrant in which the ordered pair minus 2 5 lies now in the first sub part we have the ordered pair minus 2 5 now here the x coordinate is minus 2 which is negative and the y coordinate is 5 which is positive. Now from the key idea we will check that in which quadrant the x coordinate is negative and y coordinate is positive. Now in the key idea you can see that in the second quadrant the x coordinate is negative whereas the y coordinate is positive. So this is the point minus 2, 5 which will lie in the second quadrant. Therefore the point minus 2, 5 that is the ordered pair minus 2, 5 lies in the second quadrant. Now let us start with the second sub part. Now in the second sub part we have the orbit pair minus 5 minus 5 that is here the x coordinate is minus 5 which is negative and the y coordinate is again minus 5 which is negative. So now let us see from the key idea that in which of the quadrants both x and y coordinates are negative. Now here you can see that in the third quadrant both x and y coordinates are negative. So the point minus 5 minus 5 that is the ordered pair minus 5 minus 5 lies in the third quadrant. Therefore, we can write that the ordered pair minus 5 minus 5 lies in the third quadrant. Now for the third sub part, now in the third sub part, the ordered pair is given as 4 minus 3. Now here, the x coordinate is 4 which is positive and the y coordinate is minus 3 which is negative. Now let us check in which of the quadrants the x coordinate is positive and the y coordinate is negative. Now here in the fourth quadrant, the x coordinate is positive, whereas the y coordinate is negative. Therefore, here you can see that the ordered pair 4 minus 3 lies in the fourth quadrant. So we can write that the ordered pair, that is the point, which is represented by the ordered pair 4 minus 3 lies in the fourth quadrant.
Now let us start with the B part in which we have to study this graph and we have to name the ordered pairs with respect to each point in this graph. Now here the point P lies in the third quadrant. So here X and Y coordinates both are negative. Now the line from X is coming from the point minus 2 and from the Y axis it is coming from the point minus 4. So the X coordinate is minus 2 and the Y coordinate is minus 4. So the ordered pair for representing the point P is minus 2 minus 4. That is the x coordinate is minus 2 and here the y coordinate is minus 4. Now the point Q lies in the first quadrant which means both x and y coordinates are positive. Now the line from x is coming from the point 5 and from the y axis it is coming from the point 4. So the x coordinate is 5 and y coordinate is 4. So the ordered pair for representing the point Q is 5, 4. Now the point U lies in the second quadrant. So the x coordinate is negative and the y coordinate is positive. Now the line from x is coming from the point minus 4 and the line from y is coming from the point 3. So the ordered pair for representing the point u is minus 4, 3. Now the point r lies in the fourth quadrant. So the x coordinate is positive and y coordinate is negative. Now line from x is coming from the point 3 and from y it is coming from the point minus 5. So the ordered pair for representing the point r is 3 minus 5. Now the point s lies on the x-axis. Now from the key idea we know that if any point lies on the x-axis then its y coordinate is 0. So the y coordinate of the point S is 0 and since this point lies on the x-axis at minus 5 so its x coordinate is minus 5. So the ordered pair for representing the point S is minus 5, 0. Now the point T lies on the y-axis and from the key idea we know that if any point lies on the y-axis then its x-coordinate is 0. So the x-coordinate of the point T is 0 and this point lies on the y-axis at 2. So its y-coordinate is 2. Therefore the ordered pair for representing the point T is 0, 2. So we have obtained the ordered pairs with respect to each given point in the graph. And this is the solution of the given question. And that's all for the session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.